Alrighty, hey guys, I am back. I have to remember my surroundings here. Alright. wonder what happened to Jason. I haven't found his body yet, have I? I'll cry. Scanning target, no alien material detected. For now. Maybe I'll become an alien one day. I see you over there. Yeah, you want to come over here and investigate that? <laughs> I want to start, um, I'm going to go into this right now. Neuromods. Oh, that requires four? Oh. I want that. That's fucking ridiculous, though. I wouldn't even be able to get it now if I wanted to. Never mind. Um, fix broken shafts. <laughs> Sorry. Fabricators and recyclers with spare parts. Um... Increases recycling yield. Ah! Increases stamina with wrench attacks, and I can lift heavier things. I don't know what I want right now, though, you know? Conditioning. Health. I think I might just get that. Combat focus. For 10 seconds, in which time slows around you, and actions cost 50% stamina. What? What? That sounds nice! Um... Enemies take longer to detect you when you're sneaking or crawling. I feel like that's invol like invaluable right now. Firearms. I don't even have like a decent amount of firearms. I'm gonna go, um... But I'm really bad at sneaking. Th maybe that'll help my bad sneaking. Hang on. We're gonna... We're gonna save again, because I'm a, I'm a save lord scum nerd. And then uh, we're gonna... We're gonna grab some of that. Oh, know thyself. Oh, is that going to my eyeball? Oh! Ah! What the fuck? That's not okay. I'm not a fan of needles. Why would you do that to yourself? Why? Does that happen every time I use that? Mm mm. Nope. That is not okay. Oh. What the fuck? Oh, I thought that was the same thing. So now I have that. And now I can get stealth 2. Sneak attack. I probably won't get sneak attack, but I don't know. Maybe it's good. Uh, combat focus. I kind of want combat focus. Maybe I should get just conditioning. Conditioning and then repair, I think. Or hacking. I'm going to get conditioning. And then... I want to make my way towards this, so we're going to get... We're going to do that. I feel like hacking would probably be a better thing, but... Fuck it. Combat basics. Take advantage of your environment and tools in combat. You don't have to fight every enemy head-on. Use alternate routes to sneak past tough enemies, or get the drop on them. If you intend to fight disabling enemies, first with tools like glue cannon can increase your odds of surviving. Ugh. Does that mean there's a big dude down here? Mmm... Don't want to deal with that. Nope, nope. Not okay. Nope, don't like that. Not at all. It would only tell me that for one reason. Because I'm going to the trauma center. I can carry somebody. Aha! I put you on the stairs. Now what, fucker? Sorry, I have to check my phone real quick. It vibrated. Just a notification from the email. Oh, this seems like a horrible idea. Mm-mm, what am I doing with my life? Give me that junk, fuckers. Dwarf red, what? I don't know what that is, but... <laughs> Alright. Give me some planaroonies. I'm really not a fan of these mimics, though. This is unnecessarily bullshitty.
You heard nothing. Is she grown? Can the mimics disguise as dead people? Ooh, I can track him, I think. Hang on a second, what? He took his off. That doesn't make for goodness. System alert. Repair is needed. Please contact a qualified engineer. I just want the apple. Don't trust anything else. Maybe these things can disguise as flowers. <laughs> Fucking golden out. Well, you people have no shame. Suit repair kit. I heard. <gasps> <gasps> Why am I in here? exactly like hide under things I like this I guess won't let me under here because of that I think but I just like run into it tutorial security stations monitor selecting employee's name will unlock okay assuming their thing is still transmitting I don't want to do this. <laughs> Fuck me. No life signs. Nominal. How do I scroll down? You should be in the trauma center, right? Holy shit, all these people are dead. See if I find any, like, names on here that I know. Alex, you, he's the president. I'm the vice president, okay. Name storage. Jennifer Lee. I'm looking for, like, Chang. I don't see him in here. I guess you can see the people that are still alive. That's not the button I meant to hit. Good morning, Talos. All personnel should report Shut to their the workstations up. for the day. If you expect to be absent Weird, I can't pull those reason, records up. They're not in the system. Still want me to swing by? Sorry, I should have informed you. MSP was shot... For, or, MSP shot was for chief insulin. Illusion. Mild fatigue. Should have logged it. Who's it administered to? Not in the system. Still want me to swing by? Huh. Let's see. Corp or the Bellamy's room key in his body. You have multiple people on route with injuries. One of them is him. Do not take him into the trauma center. He must be taken to psychotronics. This is extremely grave. 
security and health issue. I repeat, do not admit him to the trauma center. Oh, uh, well, so I don't actually have to be here. Awesome. <laughs> cool, I'm gonna piece the fuck out of that place then. Hell no. Alright. Let's see. Where am I right now? Lobby, so I have to go in the lobby, right? Were those boxes there before? I can't remember. <laughs> it seems like it, okay. Is that turret still alive? It looks like it. All right. Trans star exhibit. That looks like the lady in that. Shut the You're still on fire? Damn. Psychotronics, right? That's where he was going. Sorry, I'm really bad with remembering things. Uh, yep. How do I get in there? Or I was already in here, right? That's employee orientation. Psychotronics is this way. How do I get in there? No matching key card. Can I break in? Maybe. Can I... No, I can't fit through that. Damn. Um... Maybe there's a way in through employee orientation. Don't seem like it. Guess I can go in that way. I killed the mimics in here, but there could be more. So I don't know why I'm being... You know. <laughs> Fuck me, alright. I don't have a key for that. You know, it's probably up in the trauma center, knowing my goddamn luck. Or it could be over there, I don't fucking know. Hey, the ladies one is all blocked off, that's a little strange. Shh. Don't do that just because I went to a new area game, alright? Rude. Someone took the med kit from here. Oh, <gasps> well, you can break that. I guess that means enemies can break it too, huh? <laughs> Mm-mm. I don't trust that. That's in the middle of the floor. <laughs> Fuck you and your goddamn trash, all right? Okay. Did someone become a toilet paper roll? Fuck your goddamn toilet paper. It's a med kit. And that. Did one of them become a toilet? Ah! Fucking... Fuck, you think you're going? Fucking... Shit. Mm. Mm -mm. Alright, I need to be more careful with my stamina, though. If there was more of them, I would have died. Okay. They're on the goddamn ceiling. I don't know what the hell they were disguised as on the ceiling, but... I gotta be careful of the ceiling now, too. The space elevator. What? Stairway to heaven. Early United States dominance of the first operational space elevator, the White Stork Tower, has allowed them to control almost all orbital activities in commerce. Now the rest of the world is playing catch-up. The World Union of Space Industry, WUSI, has calculated that using the Stork facility to aid in construction of, second space, of a second space elevator would result in construction costs that are one quarter of the original. Understandably, U.S. officials have balked at the idea of helping competitors build a cheaper platform that could give them a competitive advantage. Of 
course they would do that. Fucking capitalist nerds. A little America, whatever. Stork representatives maintain that the sizable investment risks for the original platform justify the protection of this economic space. In the meantime, Lucy has aggressively moved to purchase ideal sites for future space elevators, essentially space age squatting. Interesting. Is that what we stemmed from, I wonder? <laughs> I don't trust goddamn shit. The hell is, is that just another toilet? Alright, well, there's no reason to go in here other than to get ambushed. Turn on some sinks and flush some toilets. And read that, whatever that was. Alright, cool. Glad I did that and get some junk, I suppose. Now, the real question is do I want to break through this? Yep, I do. Mm mm, this is a good idea. There's a dead person in here. This is a horrible idea. What am I doing? Mm -hmm. Do I have two glue cannons now? I do. I don't know why. Three spare parts. Interesting. Was he a security personnel? He was. That's not okay. Why'd he die in here? There's nothing in here to kill him. Or was there and is it gone now? Mm-mm. I'm not fond of that. Nope. Not at all. Alright. Fuck. Okay. Uh, human Resources Sales Division. Let's go up the stairs. Yay. Well, I can't get into the into that. I can't get into Human Resources. Anything else up here? I don't think so. Maintenance access. I have a key card for either of those. Alright. Well, here's where the exploration comes in, I guess. I, I, I can't do anything with that. I have no fucking idea what that would be. Huh. Alright. I guess. It's just dead people leading to the shuttle bay, that's cool. Stop doing that. Freak me out every time. Um What's in here? Aside from death. <laughs> Fucking mimics everywhere, man. 1963, a top secret. Ah! Why did I do that to myself? I should have figured that would happen. Fucking goddamn. I have a glove. Mimics disguised as one of these. I bet you. Why else would they be open? Mm mm. Day one. Okay, survivor's account of the evacuation. Day one. The fuck is the evacuation? I dropped off my dog at the groomer. Her name was Eliza. It means joy. I said goodbye and walked a few blocks to get some calf a bots near to get cafe bots. All right, near the park. Some jets flew over very low, and the sound was so loud it made me jump. I don't know where they were, but from the the way they were bristling with ball or I don't know. Wait, what? I don't know where they were, were from, where they were from. Okay, sorry, Jesus, I can't read. But the way we were bristling with bombs and rockets, everyone was looking up. Oops, I hit my microphone. My bad. Mm -hmm. Everyone was looking up, 
and the sound of the jets was echoing off the buildings, but we could not see them anymore. The sky was clear, and I could see some pink smoke rising in the distance of the stadium, in the direction of the stadium. When the sirens started, I had not heard from, or when the sirens started, I had not heard from them since my child, or I had not heard them since my childhood. Some people stood confused, but my instinct told me to run, run away from the stadium, run away from Elisa. Some people were running with me, but we didn't know where to go. I saw a policeman directing people to a basement restaurant. I think it was an old bomb shelter. I looked up at the sky again and I saw an airline. It was not military, I'm certain. I think it was going to the airport. While I watched, it turned into glitter without a sound. It was just gone. A man near me began to curse. I fell down and hit my head on the street. Are these... Did these things take over Earth at first? And that's why we're in space, trying to develop neuromods so that we can combat them? 1963. A top-secret Cold War negotiation culminates with Americans and Soviets working together on a research facility named Kletka. Kletka, Russian for cage, produces the skeleton and core emergency systems of what will one day become Talos One. 1964. After the attempted assassination of Kennedy and Khrushchev's departure, the U.S. pays for the rights to use Kletka as a testing facility. This period, known as Project Axiom, leads to many advancements in next generation materials and bioscience fundamental to neural modification. 1980 to 1994. Geopolitical developments result in a temporary hold on Project Axiom. After the unfortunate Pobeg incident, in which two research scientists lose their lives, the Kletka facility is decommissioned and cleaned. 2025. The Transtar Board of Directors is established. Transtar purchases and privatizes the Kletka facility with a focus on safety and state-of-the-art upgrades. 2030. Talos One becomes fully operational, representing a monument of private space industry. The first neuromod is released, allowing for dramatic enhancement to the human mind and body. Mm. 20. Shush, 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 shush. <laughs> Talos. Warning. Tampering with administrative control. 2030. Talos 1 becomes full. I heard something over there. 20 Shut the fuck up. The Goliath. Is this Talos? That's impressive. And it's gold, which is disgusting, but whatever. What was that noise? What was that noise? It's legitimately injected into the eyeball. That's cool. Stop that. Don't do that. Fuckers. He lived for over a hundred years? So wait, in this story, he didn't die. The attempted assassination, what the fuck? Holy shit. That's fucking insane. Oh, I can move that. That's interesting. I heard that. Don't you bullshit me. What's that? Pop star. I have too much shit. All right. That's good to know. I still find it weird that there's just lemon peels everywhere. Are people just eating lemon peels like some sort of fucking freaks of nature. I was gonna say, that's floating, that's a little weird. 
Yeah, it was weird. Fucking, what the hell is that called? A mimic tumor? That's disgusting. I don't even know how that startled me. I really don't. <laughs> I'm a goddamn idiot. Neuro mod. You have to shove fucking needles into your eyes. Okay. Nash Underwood. Is that name familiar? Oh, this is where I came from, right? This is to, uh, wherever the fuck that is. Anyway. Cool. I was wondering why all this seemed familiar. It's because I'm a goddamn idiot and I came from this way. Yes, I did. That's nice. Alright, well, aside from all that useless exploration, cool beans happened. <laughs> fuck you. Seems like it takes them a moment to unmimic themselves from items. Which is actually rather nice. I'm sorry about that lampy lamp. The main lift. I don't know what the hell that does, but... Anyway. So I still have this. Hardware labs. I wonder if his thing's in the hardware labs. Or if the key's in the hardware labs. I feel like... In the trauma center, there's some shit going down that I should go explore. But at the same time, I wonder what's in security. Mm-mm, help. What? Who? Oh, it looks like I'm not going that way. It's locked in there. There's a scary noise. Uh-uh, nope. Fuck that. 